The Sanitarium Health and Wellbeing Company is the trading name of two sister food companies Australian Health and Nutrition Association Limited and New Zealand Health Association Limited. Both are wholly owned by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, founded in Melbourne, Victoria, in 1898. Sanitarium has factories in Australia and New Zealand, producing a large range of breakfast cereals and vegetarian products. All the food products it manufactures and markets are plant-derived or vegetarian. Its flagship product is Wheat Bix, sold in the Australian and New Zealand breakfast cereal markets. Sanitarium has produced and marketed many food products throughout its 120-year history, including peanut butter, vegetarian meals, snacks and beverages. The company operated health food shops in some cities, but closed them in the 1980s. History During his time in Australia, pioneer Adventist Ellen G. White's son Willie convinced Seventh-day Adventist Edward Halsey, a baker at John Harvey Kellogg's Battle Creek Sanitarium, to immigrate to Australia. Halsey arrived in Sydney, New South Wales, on 8 November 1897. He rented a small bakery in Melbourne, and produced granola made of wheat, oats, maize, and rye and granos the unsweetened forerunner to wheat bix. His team and he sold it from door to door as an alternative to fat-laden or poor nutritious foods popular at the time. The business relocated to larger premises in Coranbong, New South Wales, next to the campus of the seminary which became Avondale College. In 1900, Halsey transferred to New Zealand, where he began making the first batches of granola, New Zealand's first breakfast cereal, caramel cereals, a coffee substitute, and wholemeal bread in a small wooden shed in the Christchurch suburb of Papua Nui, Sanitarium New Zealand and Sanitarium. Sanitarium Australia are now separate companies, but work together. Sanitarium has factories in places including Berkeley Vale and Coranbong in New South Wales, Carmel in Perth, Western Australia, Brisbane, Queensland, and Auckland, New Zealand. Wheat Bix was originally manufactured, from 1928, at 659 Parramatta Road, Leichhardt, where until recent times sanitarium signage could still be seen. This factory antedates the purchase of Wheat Bix by sanitarium in 1930. A factory was operating in Palmerston North in New Zealand, but closed in the late 1990s. The Hackney factory in Adelaide, South Australia was closed in October 2010. In June 2017, Sanitarium caused controversy when it objected to a specialty shop owner based in Christchurch, New Zealand, trying to import 300 boxes of Weetabix into the country. New Zealand Customs detained the boxes at the request of Sanitarium on the grounds the British made Weetabix competed with and confused the branding of their own New Zealand made Wheat Bix. Sanitarium faced a backlash in New Zealand as a result. After failing to come to a settlement, Sanitarium filed civil action against the shop owner. The case hearing began in the High Court at Christchurch on 30 July 2018. Tax exemption Neither the Australia nor the New Zealand sanitarium companies pay company tax on their profits, due to their ownership by a religious organisation. On their official website, Sanitarium defend their tax exemption with several points, stating they operate exclusively for charitable purposes, and that income tax exemptions are available to all companies and individuals in New Zealand who limit themselves to charitable purposes. However, the exemption has been criticised and is considered unfair by their competitors. The Church's New Zealand Group 1 accounts booked total income of 204. 
$4.8 million in 2014, which included $4.3 million in government grants and $5.9 million in donations. Topic. Products Topic Breakfast Beverages Up and Go is the brand of a range of liquid breakfast products manufactured and marketed by Sanitarium Health and Well-Being Company. The brand was the first product that established the category of liquid breakfast in supermarket and convenience stores in Australia and New Zealand. Many other brands have entered the category since the late 1990s, and forced the brand to defend its market share. In June 2013, Choice magazine released a study of 23 liquid breakfast products questioning the validity of claims that were made by manufacturers, including Up and Go claims regarding fiber content. Sanitarium defended Up and Go in a release citing the current code of practice for nutrient claims that a product must contain a minimum of 3 grams of dietary fiber per serving to be considered high in fiber and Up and Go contained 3.8 grams of fiber per 250 ml serving. Topic: <laughs> Breakfast cereals. Wheat Bix, and its family of products Wheat Bix Bites Wild Berry Wheat Bix Bites Honey Crunch Wheat Bix Bites Apricot Wheat Bix Bites Energize Wheat Bix Multi Grain Wheat Bix Oat Bran Wheat Bix High Bran Wheat Bix Energize High Protein Wheat Bix Gluten Free Wheat Bix Cholesterol Lowering Wheat Bix Blends Cranberry and Coconut Wheat Bix Blends Apple and Cinnamon Granola Granola Clusters NZ Puffed Wheat Honey Wheats Skippy Corn Flakes Skippy Rishes Light and Tasty Muesli Range, Toasted, Natural Cluster Crisp Range, Toasted Oat Cereal Wheaties, Relaunched 2008, Previously Cornies Double Crunch Apple and Cinnamon, NZ Double Crunch Apricot, NZ GHF Vita Brits, NZ Only GHF Toasted Muesli, NZ Fiber Life Range Brand Bix Honey Puffsome Older Names, No Longer Produced Gravy Quick NRG Cereal NZ Good Morning NZ Stamina NZ Maximize Light Bix NZ Banana Rishes Flavored Water Topic spread Sanitarium Peanut Butter Peanuts Peanut Butter USA Natural Peanut Butter Marmite NZ and Ouse Vitamite Ouse Topic Dairy Alternatives So Good and its family of products So Good Coconut Milk So Good Ice Cream so Good Light So Good Almond Milk Flavored So Good Organics Simply Soy Rice Milk Topic Yogurt Up and Go Breakfast Yogurt Topic See also Health Food Health Food Store La Loma Foods, formerly owned by the Seventh-day Adventist Church List of vegetarian and vegan companies Macrobiotic diet <laughs>